Hi, uh, I just want to show how I make the plates for testing. So basically there's a thick plywood as a base, there's another one on top. Um, after I prepare the plate, you know, soak it with uh, epoxy and uh, put all the layers together, I uh, just wrap it with the kitchen foil. Uh, so the epoxy don't stick to the wood. The plywood is as well covered in uh, kitchen foil. Just a standard thing. Right now I'm going to be making a uh, one of plate, which will be with a titanium three millimeter TC four, which is grade five titanium insert, and it's going to be. Uh, 14 layers in the front, then the plate, and two layers at the back. And this is a proper uh, ballistic Kevlar, Kevlar 29. So that thing can be used without epoxy to use as a ballistic protection. It doesn't have to be used with epoxy like the standard Kevlar or other Arabid uh, uh, materials. So I'll start. I'm gonna mix my uh, epoxy now on a scale. That's the epoxy I'm using. It's from uh, Easy Composites. It's the long, slow hardener, so it takes long to uh, to to harden. But that gives me a lot of time to work with. And uh, I'll uh, make another picture or short video after I'm done. So. You can see how it, everything looks like at the end. So uh, the first two layers are soaked with epoxy. Now I'm going to put the titanium. About here. This Kevlar is soaking pretty nice with the uh, epoxy. So just give it a little bit here and uh, one more layer. I'm just kind of carry on with all the layers, put them on top, all of them on top of the plate, and then fold the sides so the the edges are protected. So if the bullet hits on the edge, hopefully it will not uh, escape. It will be like a pouch. So that's for now. So now the plate is done, it's still soft, everything is soaked in epoxy, everything is around, you know, covered in, uh, in the kitchen foil, so I can just put it here, <coughs> and uh, there is enough epoxy so the Kevlar should uh, soak nicely, there shouldn't be too much epoxy, and uh, we're going to put the top plywood now on top and uh, use the clamps squeeze it together like that so the plate is over there squeeze it as much as I can and uh, leave it till tomorrow so I can strip it and uh, make another plate Right, so it's been about 15 hours since I clamped the plate. So let's just see how it looks like.
just a bit of paint on the plastic. So now this is how it looks like. Uh, you can just get the kitchen foil off. Well, it's hard to do it with one hand. But, uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. So this is the simplest way, I think, how to do a sample like that. I can... The epoxy is still... Still soft. So I have to leave it for another 12 hours or more. The epoxy is is really slow on this. Uh, with that hardener, usually after two days, it, it gets really hard, and you know you can work with it. But uh, you can after 12 hours, you can just you know remove the the clamps and and remove it so we can make another plate. Um, so yeah, that's the way I make all the plates for testing um, yeah. right so this is second plate made of only from Kevlar I did it yesterday so it's been about 24 hours now The plate is uh, 18 layers of Kevlar 29, which is a proper ballistic Kevlar. And uh, let's just have a look at the plate. I squeezed it, it's still in wrapping the kitchen foil. And I squeeze squeeze it quite hard. It, there's some of extra epoxy came out. <laughs> so that's 18 layers of the Kevlar. I made 18 layers just to compare it to uh, the other 18 layer plate made from uh, the Aramid, which was this one. And you can see, I also want to show, to compare these materials. This is the Aramid, uh, it's actually, I believe it's a uh, Tvaron. Um, a lot of people commented on the videos that this shouldn't be you know, used in, in epoxy because it's not flexible and stuff like that. Well, that's true, but in case of this material, um, this is not a ballistic Kevlar or Tfaron. It's made to be used with epoxy. It have no, um, it do not have the same properties as ballistic Kevlar because you can see it's just. Let's try to focus. The strands they they move. I'm not sure how to. So the they can be moved very easy. This is yellow actually. <laughs> so it can be moved very easy. So leaving that without um, a resin, it will just the bullet will hit and pull all the strands apart, and it will have no strength at all. Um, so that's the uh, that Farron I used before. This is Diolan, which is similar. It's um, pulling apart as well. It's it's not 
anything that can be this was it's designed to be used with epoxy without it it's 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 just gonna be destroyed very easy if the bullet hits it will just you know go apart it will not do good it will stop maybe one bullet but what about the next one and now this this is my big roll of Kevlar 29 and look how this looks like it's a completely different thing this is a proper ballistic Kevlar and it is designed to be used without the any resin so this can be actually used as a soft body armor look it's it's going nowhere you cannot pull it it's tight it's 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 dense you know I don't know how to describe it but it's not getting it's not destroyed just by pulling it it's 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 strong on its own that's why it can be used as a soft body armor and that's why you don't have to use it with resin but you can it's actually working very nice with resin it sticks to it very nice that's why I made this plate with uh, 18 layers to compare it the strength to 18 layers of this material so who knows maybe 18 layers of Kevlar 29 will stop the Tokar around we'll see so that's it and uh, I'll upload the test video soon well in a couple of weeks actually so thanks for watching bye